Well, there is a new exhibit at the American Visionary Arts Museum. And Marty is there checking it out. Hey, Marty. Well, hey, good morning, and good morning, everyone at home. Hopefully, you're doing well. Janine Whitfield, Executive Director, Visionary Art Museum, and Becca Plum. We're going to talk about the educational part of this shortly. This is close to your heart. Tell them why. Yeah, I had an uncle who had Down syndrome, and because he was not allowed to be expressive, he came to a tragic end, and it was very unfortunate. And that's why I like the idea that Judith's sister, you know, went and, and rescued her and allowed her creativity to come through in these, in these amazing works. It's very important, I think, that everybody has something to contribute, and that's what this demonstrates. Something to contribute. Yeah. Becca, so if someone's watching, are we talking about school kids, church groups? The educational part of the visionary is a big deal because these artists were out there in their own way and beautiful in their own way. Yeah, we're really excited for students to come in and just take a closer look at Judith's sculptures, try and figure out what's inside, what's outside, and what she's trying to say with her sculptures. These are sculptures. Mm -hmm. You know, until you said that, I, I was just looking at works of art. They're sculptures. Mm -hmm. They are. They really are. Um, and what they really, you know, if you look closely at them, it just kind of made, gives you some idea of what might be going on within Judith. I have a message, I have something to say, and it's repeating over and over and over again. And there are, we call them talismans, or sister, I think, call them talismans. There are objects inside of these. Yeah, there's an x ray back there that gives you some indication of how she kind of started yeah. know, her spindles. Next, next um, half hour, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the x rays. It really is rather phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Becca, if someone, we're going to be starting school in a month. How about that? Do you realize that? Oh my <laughs> in gosh. In a month? Yep. Yeah, we've put together some great lesson plans that go along with this exhibition for students of all ages, for teachers to use in their classroom um, with images of the exhibition and just ways for students to connect more with the artwork. And it's more than just artwork. In this case, it's more than just artwork. I think it's more than artwork. I think, again, I always go back to what is she saying and, and the fact that she said it so repetitively and that she just wanted to, to really let people know I have a message and that's what, what I feel when I look at these. In the tease before the show I read this quote from Confucius you have up here. Mm -hmm. Everything has beauty but not everyone sees it. Hallelujah. She's <laughs> awesome. Heavy duty beauty. Coming up next half hour we're going to show you the x-rays of these sculptures and talk more live from the American Visionary Art Museum. Beck, it's great seeing you. <laughs> Thanks, great Mark. Seeing you. And thank you for inviting us oh, back it's in. It's my pleasure. All right. We'll see you next half hour.